Hello, in this tutorial we will go over several common programming mistakes. Starting from version 2.7, there is a new warning engine. In almost all cases, the warnings are relevant and should be fixed, so make sure to check them. Let's start by adding a layout file. So I will add a button and a label. So we have created a layout file and now we need to load it. The first mistake is to load it when first time is true. First time is only true when the process is first created. So let's run our program and see what happens. Now I will go back to the home screen with the backy and return to the application. As you can see, the layout was not loaded. We can also see it in the logs that first, when the activity was created, first is first was true. This is the first time. And then it was false. Another common mistake is to load the layout in activity resume. So, this one is a little bit more difficult to demonstrate. If you look that the layout is loaded correctly. However, what really happens is that the, the same layout will be added multiple times. So, in order to demonstrate it, we will change the label text when when the button is pressed. Now let's run our application. Now I'm pressing on the home screen and back to the application. Now everything looks correct. However, activity resume was called twice. First when the activity was created and then activity resume was called and second when we went to the home screen and returned to the application. Now note that I didn't use the back key to return to the home screen as the back key would have uh, destroyed the activity and then it will, would have worked uh, correctly. Now when I press on the button, if you look closely you will see that there are actually two labels, one above the other. So the correct the correct place is inactivity create and out of any uh, first time condition. And now for a different uh, issue, let's create a type. And now we will create a list and add a number of points to this list. And 
we will add it to the list. And let's print the items in the list. Okay, so as you can see, the output is not what you might have expected. Only the last point with the values 10 and 10 is in the list and it shows 10 times. There is also a warning. This warning will only show when you run it in debug. And and the warning tells us that the same object was added to the list. And it also tells us the solution. You should call dim again to create a new object. So, let's do it another time first. Let's get rid of this. We have a layout file that we do not need. So, now it will disappear. So the correct code is this. When we call dim again, we actually create a new object. So instead of changing changing the previous object each time, now in each iteration we will create a new object and add it to the list. And now you can see that the points were added correctly and and we actually have 10 items, 10 different items in the list. Different devices have a different scale and with scale I mean the number of uh, dots per inch. So for example if we create a button and set its width to 100 pixels then on one device it can be the physical size can be one cent centimeter and in another one it can be half a centimeter so the way the correct way to to measure sizes is in what we call DIP which is a device independent pixel let's see an example Now when I add the button, all the units will have a deep unit. Know that if I miss a unit, there will be a warning that, that there is a missing, missing screen unit. To, demonst to demonstrate this, we will use the UI cloud. So let's Let's create three buttons. We'll set the width to 200. Note that the values in the properties box are scaled automatically. However, if I change the value in the designer script, I do need to set uh, to use deep units, or otherwise it will not be scaled correctly. So, for example, now I will send it to the UI cloud. Let's start with the tablet, the, the Galaxy Tab 2. This device has a scale of 1. So all the buttons are with the exact same width. The Galaxy S4 
has a scale of 3 so button 1 width is 100 pixels which in this case are uh, equivalent to uh, 33 pix pixels and this is why it looks much smaller on this device this is a very small one it's the Samsung Pocket the scale is actually lower than one and this button is even larger than the other buttons so the lesson here is to always use always use deep units or percentage but never specify the units only in pixels